Ken, how was your first day out there with the guys? It was good. I had fun. We had fun. We getting better. So looking forward to tomorrow. There's so many different rookies, UDFAs, tryout guys out there. How, what are you doing to build relationships? Really, it start with ball. Uh, start to understand, you know, what they like about ball, you know, the favorite parts of it. And then you start to relate to the off-the-field stuff. You know, the guys in the hotel, so we got roommates and stuff. So you're able to get close, closer with them, conversate. You know, you probably played against some of the guys or watch their tape somewhere. So really just talking ball and then the personal life afterwards. I'm sure the past few weeks have been a bit of a whirlwind for you since getting drafted. What is it like to get back onto the football field and do what you love to do? I mean, that's probably the best feeling in the world. You know, all the other stuff, that's cool and all, but the main thing is the main thing, trying to get better on the football field, learn the playbook and impact the team and try to help win. That's, that's really what I'm, what I'm focused on, what I really care about. So it's great to finally get back to it. What were the emotions like putting the Bills helmet, putting the jersey on for the first time? Just a bunch of like, a bunch of jitters. I called my brother. You know, I was just, it's, it's, it's exciting. You know, it, it, the moment get downplayed because you, the process is so long. But I think once I put, once I grabbed the helmet and put it on, it kind of, it shook me back to real life. Like this, this a reality now. So. You mentioned the playbook. When did you, when do you get that? And like, what, what's it been like the process? It's, it's a lot, I'm assuming, and how they give it to you. But what's it been like for you starting to figure out what they want out? I mean, it's been pretty smooth, you know. Coach, uh, Coach Henry, he's been helping me a lot. You know, we've been Zooming uh, the past week or so and just breaking it down into pieces, understanding the terminology and within each play, what they're trying to get done, what's the reads, and that makes it very, very simple because there's only so many concepts you can run. It's just the terminology. Once you get that down, and then there's going to be a lot, but you'll be able to adjust. How does it compare to your Florida State playbook? Uh, it's a lot different. I say it's a lot different. It's more similar to my Michigan State playbook. So uh, it's kind of like, you know, kind of like the same thing. When it comes to studying a playbook, getting up to date, really kind of diving into what your next year is going to look like, what do you like to do to feel like you know that, like the back of your hand? Uh, so with the film, like with the actual plays with the lines and stuff is plays live footage behind it on your tablet i like to draw it out take the notes draw it out and then continue to do it on whiteboards and then quiz myself that's a, that's probably my my favorite way to do it how long have you done it that way like was that all throughout college or is that newer not always you know my first my first my freshman year was a little different it took a while to kind of understand how to learn them so once i got that maybe midway through the season it that kind of, that's kind of what I did. Spent a lot of time with Coach Brady during practice today. What's it like, that dynamic, being coached by him? I mean, it means a lot. You know, he knows what he's talking about on the football field. He's a great OC. I think he's probably the best in the league at what he does. And, you know, he loves ball. I love ball. And we, we understand each other. You know, he was down in Louisiana for, for his stint. And, you know, I think it's nothing better than a boot boy. And we just got a great relationship. And just being able to be that close with my offensive coordinator, it means a lot to me. You know, building our relationship. Are oh, you good? Good. <laughs> Sorry, I mean to cut you off. What's his energy like? Just to follow up on that. He kind of remind me of myself, just a little bit older, but he still, you know, he still can crack a few jokes here and there, get a bit, get a good laugh. What's been the most surprising reaction you've received since being drafted by this organization from maybe this fan base or others? The most shocking. I had a I had a box of uh, chipper hard cookies at my uh, at my locker, and some of like the fan, the mail from some of the fans is it was great. The chipper hard cookies kind of I was like, huh? I didn't get it. I was like, I thought I was tripping, but that that was it. Other than that, you know, that's it. Not a chips Ahoy fan. Yeah, I eat them, but I just wasn't I wasn't expecting no cookies at my at my uh, at my locker, and it was in a box box. I was like, what could this possibly be? So I opened it up, I'm like, and it was like a, a big box. I'm like, yikes, it caught me off guard. How does Coach Henry coach up his wide receivers? What do you like most about the way he goes about that? Uh, he's very hands-on. So he gonna walk you through each part of it a few times to make sure you really get it so you're not out there messing up. So like I said, really just hands-on, very hands-on. Who else from the team, maybe more conversations with Josh, have you heard from over the past few weeks since getting drafted? Uh, KJ Hamler. Uh, I heard from James. Me and James was out there in Houston together. We didn't get to work out together. I ended up having to leave. But uh, I think that's it. I think just those two. I think I should be seeing the rest of the guys here next week 
as they come back. You know, they've been, in, you know, enjoying themselves. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Have you had a moment yet since you got here to Buffalo where you've been like, wow, this, this is actually happening? Like I said, uh, really once I put the helmet on, you know, that, that kind of shook me back to reality. Like, you know, it's finally here and let's get to it. Are you aware of uh, the buzz, the hype that you, just with your first press conference here a couple of weeks back, kind of created with the jacket, the cookies, all that stuff, um, and how you kind of help cement something, but you build a tie with Bill's fans almost immediately? Uh, I'm, a, I'm aware of it, but like I said uh, earlier, I'm happy to keep the main thing, the main thing, get back to playing ball. So, you know, the hype can be there all at once, but I still have to make plays on the field, and I want to help contribute to win, so we got to win to make our fans happy. A jacket ain't going to get that done. Speaking of keeping the main thing the main thing, what are your goals this weekend? You guys are at it the next couple days. Uh, just learn as much as I can within the playbook, get to know the guys that are here and enjoy this brotherhood we got uh, as rookies, as UDFA guys, as guys that's trying out and stuff like that. Just get as close to those guys, enjoy this process uh, as a rookie and just learn and soak in as much as I can. Did you reach out to Andre Reed or and how did that come about? Uh, yes, sir, I did. It came about uh, just, you know, I was taught to always respect those that step before you. So the path that he paved here and the legacy he left here, Hall of Famer. So I just felt out it was a respect, a respect thing to reach out and just uh, ask him for whatever advice, you know, he can give me and just to be able to keep that as a mentorship from him. And I felt that would be a great resource. You know, you always want to use the resources provided to you. So, And more so just showing my respect that, you know, I respect everything that he's done and looking forward to, you know, competing as a Bill. Can you talk how about much the homework playbook? did you do on this franchise? In that, in that, how much homework did you do on this franchise to know who Andre Reed was? His, you weren't even born when he was alive, you know, when, <laughs> you know, when, when he was playing. But I'm just saying, it's impressive that you did your homework. I mean, it's the same thing. I wasn't born when Jordan was playing, but I still know who he is. So it's like just want to know about football. You have to know, like I said, you have to know about the guys that came before you. So that's a, you know, that's a big thing. Was there anything he told you when you reached out that kind of stuck with you? Like did Really just em embrace the process and, you know, as stuff starts to simmer down, we'll continue to talk more. But when I did reach out, it was, you know, it was a lot going on within back and forth, trying to get back to the training, all the trips and stuff. So uh, I'm looking forward to having more conversation. But the main thing was really just enjoy the process, uh, take in all you can take in and just put your head down and be ready to work. What has it kind of been like you talk about getting that helmet on, making it feel real, like with so much distractions, with social media and all this stuff, what has it kind of been like? these last couple of weeks, especially, but like finally getting out to this football, actually playing football, I guess, what does it felt like kind of not getting lost in all those distractions? I mean, it felt great. Like I said, the distractions only become distractions if you let it distract you. But I've always been, like I said, remaining humble and ready to work and trying to get better. So the fact that I was able to get back on the field, get my feet wet back with my cleats on and get on the turf has been great. I've been having fun and, you know, I'm looking forward to continue to play. Uh, you had a question about that? Just get a sense of your jump from college to here. Just your playbook and what's the difference between this playbook and maybe when you first learned the playbook in Florida? You know, what's the difference in? Uh, the terminology, uh, they require you to have uh, more of an IQ. You know, they're not going to just make sure everything, you know, word for word, but they're going to help you enough. But a lot of things you do have to, you have to know some things and you have to know a variety of things because at the line of scrimmage, different things, it happens. The defense dictates what you're really trying to accomplish. So being able to check things at the line, uh, know multiple positions, you know, that's the, that's the, you know, the baseline of baseline. But once you get into the complex, the complex part of football uh, within routes, double moves, uh, motions, and, you know, attacking certain defenses with the leverages and stuff, uh, I think that's really just the biggest adjustment. And it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. Pass playbook probably this big. So that's probably a whole college playbook videos of you on buffalobills.com with the team that, you know, explain those videos. So I guess my intrigue is you seem to know all that stuff. It, does it come easy? I mean, it seems complex, but to you, do you absorb it pretty well? Or? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it would come e easy. It kind of do, but it's like it took a lot of uh, watching film, asking questions to get to that point. So, you know, furthering my knowledge within the coaching I had at Michigan State uh, kind of helped me get there. And then it just continued to level up from there. As you meet more intelligent guys, more high IQ guys, you ask questions and, you know, you get to learn more and more and more. Yeah, well, we 
was it like having Tyrell Shavers out there today? And what were your impressions watching him kind of catch passes? Man, it felt good. Dude, quick. <laughs> Dude, quick. So it's been a joy being able to talk to him, you know, just the first day that we had and looking forward to continue to build that relationship with him.